Hey, welcome back. This is a cobalt, big cobalt, and she's been a little bit neglected. I think it was waxed about a year ago by some folks that, uh, well, let's just say they weren't me. Anyway, uh, it's got a little bit of oxidation, not a ton, always in the typical spots around the lettering, on the back, shoulders, uh, these cobalts, all of them, any color, blue, green, red, black, they all fade out really, really quick. And I'm not sure if it's the a lack of quality in the gel coat. I actually think the gel coat's pretty good. It's just very thick. And so the sun has a lot of access to go deep, deep, deep into the gel coat. So if it starts to fade out, it just keeps fading out. And I wanted to see what I could do here. So instead of doing what I normally do, using my buffer wheel to try to get in between the letters, I got myself a little tool, a little fancy tool, a little uh, buffers helper. This little guy's got like 10 speeds. Um, I'm gonna stick with speed one just to start and spread this out, and then I'm gonna follow up with uh, speed two just to put a little bit of friction in that. And you can watch and see how this goes. Okay, catching you up to speed here. I've actually compounded from the back shoulders all the way up to that little vent on the starboard side. And I just wanted to show you the clarity and the reflection. So I'm not looking at a 45 degree angle. I'm looking straight on at the boat. And you should be able to see every single detail in the gravel below me and the background. And as we pan back, you get a nice sense of the overall appearance and the swirl free finish so what swirls you do see there that's mostly the oil from me wiping down the boat um, just clearing off the compound residue and getting the dust off at some point in the future i'll be waxing this and you'll see the end result of that as well Okay, I know I've already done this, but for a detailer, it's kind of neat. So again, this is the oxidized side that I haven't done, and then whoop, there we go, nice and clean. This is what I like to see. Okay, speaking of waxing, I've 
I've already got some wax put on this and I've got a different, uh, like a terry cloth finished pad for this little guy. And I'm just gonna take the wax off the best I can, get him between the letters. Try to get all of the stuff that I touched with the compound. If I can't, it's okay. I've got a uh, Sonicare toothbrush and Q-tips and some other techniques that I like to use for these letters. Mostly what I'd like to see is cobalt go away from these raised letters and move to maybe a chrome decal. Just a sticker, something that sits flush to the surface. It'd be a lot more beneficial to uh, not only your detailer, but whoever owns the boat and might want to sell it in the next couple of years. It's always easier to sell a boat that looks great, and when you've got these letters that your local detailer can't get in and out of, eh, it's kind of an eyesore, a little bit of a blight. Anyway, I choose not to exist in that world. I'd like to get rid of all the oxidation if I can, so if I see it, I'm going to attack it. And here's a neat, easy way to do it for yourself. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting on uh, the interwebs and finding yourself a hand polisher. And just like with any other buffer on that lettering, whatever I've done with the machine has to be gone over with a nice soft microfiber rag to clean up anything that's just sitting there on the surface that I didn't want. This also kind of levels out some of the oils in the background gel coat and brings the overall luster out of the gel coat so that when you look at it from a distance, the uh, resulting reflection in the word cobalt generally matches the background of the rest of the boat. Okay, for everybody wanting to know how I did this and how I got these results, this is me cleaning out my wool double-sided pad by 3M. I think it's the 5703 is the part number. And I'm just going to spur it out, clean out all the particulate in that uh, pad. And then I'm going to use some compound that you're probably not going to think that I was using. This is the Heavy Cut by 3M. That's right, Heavy Cut. Gritty, aggressive, and I'm going to put it right on the boat here. And as long as I don't leave it on too long, I don't have to worry about the compound leaving marks in the gel coat from where it sat. So I'm just going to spread this around with my buffer. Light taps on the trigger, get the wheel spinning a little bit. I keep it up on an edge so that it's not slinging everywhere and I'm not wasting product. And as soon as I've got it spread around, I'm going to speed up to full speed. That's 3000 RPM for you new guys. Enjoy.
Okay, here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. This is where I try to highlight that uh, there's not much in the way of swirls. After heavy cut, 3M compound and a wool pad spinning at full speed. There you go. It is possible, once again. As a heads up, because this was recently waxed and buffed off, you are going to see some discoloration, slight dark spots and light spots. It's just the different thicknesses of the oil on the surface of the gel coat. Once it's washed, it'll all even out. You won't be able to see any difference from one side to the other. But if you're wondering, Lee, how do you go about waxing a boat after you've compounded it? Well, in this instance, I've already waxed the hull and I've applied Flagship by McGuire's. And I'm gonna use a soft nylon double-sided pad by 3M. Instead of going through all the rigmarole and strenuous exercise of compounding, I'm just gonna now go through the motions. This is all about finesse. I'm not working the gel coat at all. There's no surface, surface perfection that I'm looking for. I'm not trying to correct anything at all. All I'm doing is trying to remove the wax in a way that makes it look smooth and uniform the, uh, the entire boat length. So sit back, watch, and you'll see. This isn't sweat work, this is just finesse. For the record, whenever I take wax off with a buffer, I always use the lowest speed. There's no need to build up any friction. There's no need to build up any speed. Just keep it nice and slow.
Okay, now imagine for a second that you watched me wax the entire boat, and this is the end result. Once again, I'd like to point out that, as far as I can tell, there are no swirls. This was done with uh, wool pads, nylon pads, heavy cut compound, and flagship by Meguiar's. Thanks for watching, and once again, if you have a question, hit me up in the comment section. And remember, the standard is the standard.